You know, so I'm gonna go to the stage. She goes by the name of Lee, aka Leonardo. Put your hands together. All right, let me just make that correction. It's Leonora, and I go by Miss Poetic. Hi. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna do two pieces tonight. One's a little lengthy, the other one's kind of short, so bear with me. The first one is called She Types. She Types. It sucks to know that you will never really get to know her. A name meeting light in all darkness. She reflects. A light glaring in the darkness that she so carelessly left behind. Behind a life, behind a thought, behind a distance, distance in mind. Distance physically, reaching a longitude far beneath where the light has strayed. Seemingly seeking for the one who once owned the name Father. Waiting for the moment where her dislike grows into hate, which in turn turns off the light. The light that you left so carefully behind. Behind a life, behind a thought, behind a distance, distance in mind. One too many excuses, two too many lies, three constant goodbyes, four for reasons my heart cannot acquire. Five times a million sighs for the sixth time, three years, she didn't hear her voice for your birthday. Ooh, hold on. <clears throat> All right, got it. Seven seems to be her lucky number, but then came eight sisters and brothers from eight different mothers, leaving me at nine when I, I mean she, realized she wasn't daddy's friend, taking us to ten ways you fucked up my head when it comes to relationships with men. Damn, I'm probably about to go and say I about 11 more times. But by 12, go back to she. For she reached 13, and just remember always missing her daddy. 14, a pivotal moment in a young girl's life. By 15, I felt the strife. Realizing, damn, I'm living a fatherless life. Bringing me to 16, where confusion lurks, and questions remain unanswered. 17, damn, the worst year of all. But guess what, Daddy? I finally grew a couple of inches tall. Bringing me to 18, where once again she received no birthday call. Born in 1989, owning up to an Aquarius sign. By 20, if I said I'm not hurting, I'd be lying. 21, her birthday in February, soon will come. A new day of dawning. A new ray adding accommodation to this ray of light reflecting from the sun. Think this is a little harsh? Yet unlike your absence, this only just begun. So the numero numerological addition continues, yet she tends to speed ahead to the endless amount of females that are fatherless and fucked up in the head. Step down or not, reality kicks in like this nigga truly ain't my pops yet knows more than you do. 21 minus one adds up to the amount of years wasted, for she wants to know he, but he has his own family. 21 minus two, amount of the time spent together, technically if we move in chronological order. Counting thy seconds, thy minutes, thy hours, thy days, and times where your house became my getaway. Not more for you, but for me, for the eight minor sisters and brothers from eight different mothers. Yeah, she talks about you. The only piece of the puzzle that sticks to her like glue. She just wants to know, wants you to know, despite everything, she'll always have you. A love unbinding, for she is forever loyal. Oh no, not a gene inherited by the man we speak of today, but built by self, I must truly say. That's one less thank you I can say towards you for the person who I've become today leaving us at the scorns that left me fighting my own battle, in turn becoming a warrior, something like the general of my leading army. As for you, I no longer will accept any type of sorry, for the damage is done, the soil is tarnished, the battlegrounds are in disarray, major accomplishment for you, I must say. Sarcasm, yes, have you sensed it through my armor, 
Must have weakened, must have leaked from the wound in which you stabbed. Could it be you? Yet I truly applaud. You're one, you're my one minus one amount of a dad. Vividly meaning your point system is quite so sad. As for this poem, it's time to put it to rest. With that said, clap, clap, bravo, accomplishment made. For she types at 6 a.m. about this unknown friend. So in her thought you remain a sleepless night for a fatherless name. All right, so this is my last one. It's pretty short. Um, okay. It's a different tempo. It's not so depressing. Yeah. <laughs> a moment of clarity, sincerity, and knowledge of unpardoned sins. The sun shines righteously. The wings of my eyelashes flutter. The hazel sequence of my favorite feature reflects the depth of latitude of my soul. Understandably growing to self with trips, tumbles, journeys, and unwanted falls. Reality hitting the nerves of my perception. The timeline unravels with many spoils and battles of war. But the gratification of knowing victory lies next to me as I sleep in my temple tossing and turning. It lightens my spirit and heals the wounds. Decoding the experiences of life and actions at will. My eyes never remain still. It flutters, taking in the world around me, the smell and simplicity and complexity of the nature around me. The breath I inhale, the atmosphere of me and my soul, my laugh, my cries. All lessons learned, neither delayed or postponed, merely unraveling in its own. The wind suddenly swifts my hair to a northern hemisphere, exposing my flesh to the rays that once reflected off my favorite feature. Bringing bodily warmth and comfort as I strip myself. Mm -hmm. Strip myself from the heavy clothing, concealing winter coats. The tight scarf blocking my airways of inhalation. The gloves censoring the sense of touch. I'm breathing again and internally warm. A moment in time, and right now this moment is mine. A sense of clarity.